So we seek to assassinate Luis. A difficult task. But you look to have an idea. Let's have it. First, the when. Under normal circumstances, we'd want to get him on the move. Maybe walking through a crowd while he's got less guards. That would be the plan. But unfortunately, that'd only work if he was someone with common sense. Someone without combat ability. Or someone who'd want to avoid collateral damage. And that isn't Luis. Worst case, he uses civilians as shields while more of his personal guard catch up. And things go sideways before we can get it done. But once he's inside the Opera House, he'll have a security detail at his beck and call. Even if we can sneak in, getting to him... If we can't target him in transit, and we've practically zero chance of getting close to him, that leaves us with only one option. Maybe if we use magic to attack him? No, it's gotta be the lambs, or the attack won't land. But it's true that we'd be better served by an attack at long range. We attack from a distance. Exactly. A bow and arrow isn't gonna do much good, right? It needs to be the lance. Of course. So, what if we threw the lance, pierced him through from a distance? Yufa, as the priestess, you can command the lance to return to you if it's far away, right? You would have me use that power in reverse to cast it out instead. According to Juna, the ceiling of the Opera House has a chandelier big enough to support a person. From above, we'll target Luis in the royal box seats. You realize the entire audience is below that lighting? A stunt like that would get us noticed instantly. Wait, are you suggesting we do this during the show? Luis would be distracted. It's the best opportunity we could ask for. Besides, with you for there, we can even recover the lance easily. Hold a moment. I would need to launch it like an arrow. Such distance and such speed would require incredible focus. I, I don't think I could do it while aiming. Then just concentrate on the sheer mental force of it. Someone else can take over the role of actually throwing. This gambit is sounding more far-fetched by the moment. But we also can't afford to wait for another opportunity. There is no other opportunity. Luis intends to kill Forden during the festival. That means if we do nothing, the fake will be exposed, and so will we. Indeed. Once our betrayal is made plain, we will never find a way to draw close to him again. This will likely be our first and last opportunity. But who's actually going to do the throwing? I'd rather leave it to you. With the royal magic protecting you, it's less likely that we'll fail this, even with interference. And besides, laugh. If you like, I know it sounds silly, but I really do believe you have the power to change fate itself. <laughs> Indeed. Everyone here knows that firsthand. I feel the same. If I can trust you to do it, then I should be able to do my part as well. Will you do it, Captain? I planned to from the beginning. Right. I see. Well then. We're counting on you. On the day of, Juna will be at the venue ahead of us. We'll have her open the service entrance, and we'll infiltrate from there. Is there anything I can do to help? I want you to lure Luis's guards outside and cause a commotion while he's making the throw. I'm sure the Magnus brothers will be guarding the place too. Hulkenberg and I will secure the exit route in advance. Luis is a formidable foe. But we've overcome plenty of obstacles. Let's believe in the strength that got us this far. We can do this. Don't worry about it.
at last. Good night. Hmm. What's wrong, Del? You've been quiet for a while now. That lance they handed over. You think it's real? Can't say for certain, but I didn't feel any magla flowing through it. I can't see it exactly, but how do I explain it? Uh, I know what you mean, though. The Mustari got them third eyes that can see Magla, right? Hard to believe they'd worship that thing as a relic. Then maybe... You think they made some kind of fake? Even in that short time on the island? Shite. How'd they... Either way, we have to tell Lord Luis. Uh, no need. He'll have noticed by now, most likely. Not like they're any real threat to him, anyway. Most likely? That good enough for you, brother? Hmm. Del. You remember they talked all that helping anyone in need? Something like that, anyway. Seemed proper daft at first. Seemed naive to act like that kind of thinking could actually fix all the broken, cruel, unjust shite in the world. That's because it can't. Well, yeah, obviously, but... What was it we actually wanted in the first place? But equality? Or justice? This lot's working towards the future, and God help me, I started seeing it. Maybe what they're fighting for is something better than what Lord... That's enough, Baz. Joke or not, you'll get yourself killed. But them not even helped you out a few times, Del. That really impressed me, like... I don't know how to say it, but... It was like a feeling I haven't felt since we started working for the Count. You know Lord Luis plans to take Forden out during the Saints' Day Festival. Neither of us can afford to get distracted right now. Suppose you're right. Things are about to get messy. Mm. So that is the side they serve. Let us teach them that even the best laid plans will go awry. Whether Fordens or our fallen kings. It was splendid entertainment while it lasted. However, the revelry ends here. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The Saints' Day festivities in Alterbury will be kicking off very soon. On the eve of the festival, we'll be holding a dedication ceremony. On the church's authority, we'll be offering the gathered divine relics to God. And it sounds like the candidates had a tough time this go around. Lots of new info coming in, even as I speak. From candidate Rudolph, a legendary nail, thought lost to history. From candidate Julian, can you believe it? Cloth garb said to have been worn by a saint. We've got artifacts of all kinds pulled from obscurity into the public eye. Archaeologists everywhere are positively vibrating, folks. But the news on everyone's lips is the announcement of Count Luis's unofficial participation. As a matter of fact, a candidate working under Luis has reportedly acquired a phenomenal divine relic from a mysterious and exotic island. 
Meanwhile, candidate Forden too may have claimed what is said to be the most glorious relic in history. Will we finally see a head-to-head -head competition between our top candidates? Only the coming days will tell. So Luis has finally made his move. Won't take him that long to catch up, I bet. Yes, but I also can't imagine Sanctifex Forden losing. We're about to see a clash of giants. This will be no mine about, that's for certain. Right. That's everyone. Let's go over the plan one last time. First, infiltration. Juna's got full rights to be in the venue, so she'll unlock the service door for us to sneak in. When it's time, I'll call the guards outside. That'll be your window to sneak in. Gallica, you and Yufa. You three will head to the rooftop, where you'll get down to the chandelier. When I start my solo on stage, the lights will dim. That should be enough cover to hide whatever you're doing. Don't worry, I'll be with you. As for us, it's just as I explained last night. Louise said destroying Yufa's home would have been a necessary sacrifice. Like mine. If power's all he thinks will change the world, then we'll use power to stop him. Should we fail, though we may survive the ordeal, we will have no more leads to pursue. This will surely mark our final mission. You know, I've been trying to keep from dwelling, but I can't help but think of Creus. Sorry to bring that up now. Even I have my fears. But let us remember him only by his truest wish. We will make sure this succeeds. For a world without tyrants. Well, see you at the show. So begins our last mission, then. Let's get whatever we need to prepare and head over to the Opera House. Right. It'll be okay. Oi! Now what am I to do? All right, then. Ta! Oi! <sighs> yeah, amazing. Proper races. <sighs> oh, grand. Oh, grand. <laughs> That's not what I expected. Oi, oi! Huh. Wonderful. You're not serious. Beg pardon? How fine. You. Ah. Oh, hmm. You. <laughs> Aha. Check this out. Got it. Onward. Yeah. 
Let's go. All right. I'm sure of it. If so... Thank you very much indeed. So apparently... What? That was a great help. Got it? Uh, 
Understood? Y yes. Good grief. Now then. Now! Take a look! At last! Let's go. Who's there? Watch out! Oh, souls of kings, give me strength! Let my power support me! Close I'm sorry, your heart, everyone! Be insolent heathens! Take this! Uh. Take this! Uh. By this power! One left. Him. Not bad. I return. It's too Here late. I go. To go to the Go right ahead. Forward. No, I shall seize my chance. <laughs> Come at me. You was guarded by I'd rather refrain. It's too early. Come forth, royal soul. To him. I return. Now this is unbelievable! Sanctifex Borden's relic appears to be a colossal chalice! I'm told it's believed to be an ancient artifact called a Holy Grail! Truly, a relic to put all others to shame! The pagans looted this from the church's vaults in antiquity. God, in his omniscience, is said to have imbued it with his essence, giving it the power to make wishes come true. And how did such a glorious relic come into your hands? We simply preached his holy works and spread the teachings. Mutual dialogue was what won the day. Through guided prayer, anyone can be saved, and we may see God's blessing in all things. If anyone could do it, it's Sanctifex Forden! I think it's obvious who the winner is. I suppose that marks his eminence Forden as the sole winner. Even to an amateur's eye, no other relic could compete. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Sanctifex Forden! Now, continuing on! Wait, Forden was last to present? That's not right! We've not seen Luisa or the island team. Is there an issue? No. I think we're finally having a show end without incident. After all, these were originally Sanctus relics anyway. <clears throat> well, 
Uh, it looks like that's all the divine relics our candidates found across the land. The top ranking faces will be announced during tomorrow's festivities. And now, it is my distinct honor to present a one act opera for a saint's eve to remember. Please join me in welcoming the diva herself, Juna, for a performance of the opera's opening piece. Ladies and gents, enjoy! Well, Louise, rumor has it you found yourself quite a relic. Then why are you so reluctant to present it? <laughs> no matter. The race's outcome is beyond your meddling now. Victory is mine. Let's hurry. Finally. What now? Ah. We're here. I think we can get down onto that massive chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Our escape route is secure. We should be able to flee undetected. Good. Everything's going according to plan so far, but time's running out. From here on, it's all up to him. All will be fine. Okay. It's finally time to end this. Juna's song is about to start. From my fingertip flies a butterfly. How it pines for the moon up high. Fire calls its name, fly to the flame. Burning as free as it can be. <laughs> Out there. Deep and dark in the valley mist. Focus. How you I only get one shot at this. <laughs> Fearing in my soul what I can't control. I can't close my eyes to the sunrise. From the shadow of the dark. Fingers brush my Gentlemen, what an honor! That was our kingdom's lovely songstress, Juna. Moving right along. Okay. Um, it didn't work. Come back. Hail! Taking that into account. Dude! 
ludicrous. Hardly bodes well. Why do you dawdle? Did you get him? We do not know why, but the lance. Should we withdraw to retrieve it? Or make our escape? <sighs> Lost a lance? Perhaps it's this one. At last your allegiance is laid bare. And if this lance wounded me, then I take it the one you provided me was a mere imitation. If you know what the Lance is capable of, then surely you understand the situation. Your last hope is gone. No. It seems a shame to kill you, but I'm afraid you've gone too far. I have no intention of surrendering, nor of wavering in my convictions. That being said, you truly have impressed me. I will allow you some final words, if you have any. <laughs> Say it! I see your performance has come to an end, Juno. Yes, the curtain falls. I'm no longer your songbird to keep caged. <laughs> so, you too stood with them. Come on. He's ready to listen, so say it. You know there's something he needs to hear. you to a duel ah the very words i was waiting for you really have done your research in truth i intended from the start to entertain such a challenge i confess it's been a long time perhaps a real contest is what i've craved this competition is little more than child's play so be it it has been a long time indeed since anyone drew my blood I will end your life with my own hands. There needs to be a direct confrontation after all. As though it was fate all along. A duel makes the king's magic powerless, which means this trinket is no longer necessary. Then state your name. How do you declare yourself? I am the hero. The savior of this country! You would save it, would you? I hope that dream does not end in futility. My name is Luis Guiaburn. I am the rightful king. He who will forge anew this unworthy country into a utopia. Attack in any number. Wield any weapons. But fight with your very lives. If you live by a creed, show me its strength. Attempt on the life of Louis Squeerburn is a folly most cannot afford. We've come this far. Let's fight with all we have, Captain. I will fulfill my purpose and cut you down, Louis. <laughs> a mission, an assigned purpose, an ideal borrowed. If you think that alone is equal to my will, then you have already failed. This is our mission. We'll see justice done, here and now. This is just what I need! How's that? That was helpful. Let us combine our powers. We'll combine our strengths. 
You needn't hold back. Magic Seeker! Better let's set it up! Maybe I won't hold back! Maybe not. I'm counting on you. You hesitate. Let's make an end of it. What's wrong? I call upon royal power within! Bear witness! I strike to kill! I strike to kill! Come on! Follow me! Together then! This might sting! Great job, Juna! Now Even my strength will be me. I must concentrate. I'll lend a hand myself. I will fight with... Is there another way? The rest is By yours. You need to tell back. Heroes. I will not let you die. That helped. I am grateful. Thank you. This is strength. I strike to kill! I strike to kill! Come, accept my challenge. You've got a bunch of now elements flowing around in here. Let's go. Thank you. Every if we all work together. Them our might. Uh, enemy still stands. Uh, interesting. Let's go. Maybe not. Magic seeker. The fight is power. Wind. Uh, still here. Bear witness. I strike. To kill. I strike to kill! Come, accept my challenge. Uh, my strength. Yupa's guard is down. Come! Are you alright? Thanks. That was helpful. Thanks. You've got a bunch I've of got ailments just flowing like down, down to me! Fast, uh, uh, I'll say thank you. Your aid. Tis yours. Help uh, me finish this. This is strength. I strike to kill. I strike to kill. I strike to kill. Oh, oh. Yupa's guard is down. Huh? The next one's yours. Obs Let justice prevail. Show you. That was helpful. This is. I must concentrate. Get him! The enemy still stands. Bear witness! I strike to kill! Magic Seeker! Scour! Uh, a tough one! Uh, I defer to you! Interesting! My fast dancer! I think not! Fast dancer! Please. Remarkable! Uh, I underestimated you!
Lord Luis, do not interfere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You falter even now. <sighs> Not enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> me but why why are you so intent on killing me you of all people should know the answer I see now you were the intruders looking for the formula I take it and yet you have achieved nothing what do you mean <sighs> <sighs> him to justice the great untouchable traitor Luis Guiaburn is dead apologies things fell apart at the end and I wasn't thinking straight even so the outcome is the same we could not have triumphed without everyone here wait it's good that we got him at all but the lance ah uh, yes it went down with him This looks dire. He's fallen in the middle of the stage. If Forden spies Luis's body run through with a lance, he'll realize its power in an instant. Even should we save the prince, we'll regret it if Forden ends up with the lance. Yufa, can you call it up? No. Too late for that. It's already in the middle of the crowd. If we call it up and take it with no explanation, everyone will think us thieves. Then what do you propose? First, we need to establish that the lance is ours. Our offering for the ceremony. We'll have to take the stage and announce that ourselves. Please, wait. Do we reveal that we are the ones who slew with Luis? Can we afford to declare that openly? We'd be telling your supporters you deceived them and your master both. She's right. The audience has no idea what's going on. We'll just look like the bad guys. It's okay. We set out to kill Luis, and the deed is done. Our only failure is in the spectacle we made of it. For now, we need to think of a way to get the audience to see our side. You want to win their sympathy? What are you even planning to say? I don't know, but we have to get on stage, now. If we don't explain ourselves fast, we'll never get a chance to. What? Wait a minute! Hey! I know that face. Was that Luis? Someone go and see to him. Is he truly dead? Allow me. Lord Luis, no. He's dead. He's gone. Your Eminence, this was found off stage. Judging by his wounds, this must have been the murder weapon. The lance. Is this the divine relic he sent his subordinates after? His eyes are sightless. His heart beats no more. The man is dead. Without question. 
You're absolutely certain. I checked him thrice over. There can be no more doubt. Luis, Tet. And that can only mean this lance can pierce the barrier of the king's magic. I apologize for the grotesque display interrupting tonight's performance. We are tardy in arrival, but the lance you hold is our offering to the ceremony. What? You claim this lance? You mean to say you were the ones who did the deed? Yes. It is as you say. God above! How do you justify this? Years ago, Luis ordered my hometown destroyed. Hulkenberg, our ally before you, was herself a royal guard in service to his late highness. Even the songstress, Juna, aided us on several occasions. Above all else, we are a group who came together to try Luis for his crimes. Traitor and Kingslayer both. And to do that, we had to enter his company. We took no joy in disguising our true intentions, not from your eminence, nor the people. But today, finally, we have seen justice done. Luis has paid for his sins. And at last, at long last, my parents can rest in peace. I had not realized you were such an actor. <sighs> or do you truly weep? It's just hitting me now. We finally won. Now, now, everyone, let's have a little composure, please. That explains why the songstress was so often with Luis, as well as these brave misfits. I understand. It all makes sense now. I had wondered why a member of the Prince's own guard would fall in with Luis. You have done well to execute the rebel. I am sure that His Late Majesty and His Highness must be pleased. And of course, the Sanctus Church recognizes your divine relic. Now we shall greet tomorrow's festivities with fresh peace in our hearts. Thank you, Your Eminence. You must be the Lady Hulkenberg. The day His Highness was attacked, I heard you fought harder than any other. Your blade even struck the back of the blackguard who did it. Of all his defenders, you came closest to avenging the Prince. But where you faltered then, you triumph today. In form and heart, you are a true knight. <sighs> Is something the matter? Oh, no. You honor me greatly, Your Eminence. Now, this lance. The Sanctus Church will confiscate it for now. A lance capable of killing the tournament's candidates would only sow panic and chaos. Yes. As you wish. We brought it as an offering anyway. Indeed. You may step down now. Think you can just walk away, do ya? You owe us a moment or three. Right. So you lot were working against us from the start. And you right along with them, Lady Juna. What was your motive? Why did you kill Lord Luis? If this was truly a matter of justice and not simply petty revenge, then we owe it to them to explain why we've taken their guiding force. They deserve that much, Captain. Do you not agree? All right. It's time for the truth. I am sorry if I'm overstepping my mark. I know I'm but the latest to become your ally, but... No, you speak the truth. We have sought to save the rightful heir to the throne, to break the curse afflicting His Highness the Prince. What's that? The Prince? He's dead, mate. 
Wait, he is dead, isn't he? He's dead, all right. You lot will need a better story than that if you don't want to get cut open where you stand. He had to be declared dead in order to protect him. Though he lives, he is bedridden, cursed by magic. And the only way left to undo that curse was to kill Luis. Those of us who wanted the prince restored formed a secret faction. And I was a spy in its service, trying to find out if we had any option beyond murder. <sighs> I cannot expect you to understand all this immediately. However... You did this for the prince! His father, the king, was a coward! Puppet of Forden! It was because of him that this country rotted from the inside. And for his son! For his bloody, useless corpse of a son! What made you think his life was worth more than Count Luis? Worth more? I thought you two hated when people tell you any life weighs more than another. I myself have never met His Highness. Nor do I know what sort of person he is. But I want to see the future these people believe in. Despite our many differences of tribe and status, we still banded together. Through them, I saw the possibility of a world united. Besides, when Luis talked about burning down my island, I thought I saw the shock and despair on your faces too. Look, you two. Was Luis really a master worth your trust? I think it's worth listening to your hearts now. Even the doubts. I know we'd be happy to have you. Hold a moment. These two were Luis's right-hand men. I would advise against this. No. Their hearts are as loyal as any of ours. They but served another master. Lady Juna? Uh, uh, I guess you really were watching out for us. More than we ever knew. I couldn't protect Basilio when it mattered most. They put him through so much for their sodden igniter experiments, and I'm now protecting him is all I've got. Del. Maybe it is time to step back. Get away from this bloody business. <laughs> I guess this was all it took. Count Luis gave us a dream to fight for, but I, I suppose it was the kind that doesn't feel right after you wake. So, we're drifters now. Maybe we'll open up that restaurant after all, eh? We'll see you around, Lady Juna. Look, I... I'm not the smart one, you lot know that, so I don't know whether to punch you or thank you. I've never been this confused in all my life. Damn it, I just don't get it. Damn it! Oh, Del, wait! Don't you wander off like that? You mean all that about the restaurant, yeah? Never could say what you were feeling. I'm sorry this was all I could do. Ah, Captain, let us tarry no more. We must check His Highness's condition. Yes, you're right! That should have lifted the curse! What? What's going on? The cursed thorns haven't disappeared! But the caster is dead! Forden and his guard were sure to check Luis's body! Calm down, everyone. We don't want to yell about this in public. Let's go back to the inn for now. His Highness still suffers under the curse. But Luis is dead. I cannot fathom it. Maybe we killed a fake. Like his body double. Or something. No. There's no way that wasn't Luis. We couldn't fight him in person and still be mistaken. And Luis would have nothing to gain from faking his death, surely. After all... It put the lance in Forden's hands. Knowing all that, might the curse have been cast by someone else entirely? But that would mean... we killed an innocent person, wouldn't it? That bastard was no innocent. He destroyed my home. He murdered the king. And... True enough, old boy. But that's not why we were out to kill the chap, eh? He said it himself, that killing him accomplished nothing. Is it really true? 
Yet he had the formula for the curse in his possession. Surely that marks his guilt? Even so, there remains a modicum of doubt in the matter. Perhaps Luis was researching the curse for another reason. If he was framed, it is possible he aimed to clear his name. <sighs> But if it wasn't Luis, who else could have... That night, His Highness the Prince was already fleeing when I arrived at the scene. I encountered the assailant as I sought to protect His Highness. I pursued and slashed across their back. Right. I remember Forden mentioned something about that. Is there anything else you can remember? Fie! No, I can recall nothing else. No other clues. Yet... No. Tis odd. I believe this is the first time I have recounted the particulars to anyone. I told the investigators only that I failed to capture the culprit. The shame of my failure kept me silent on the rest. What? But just earlier, Forden said... Yes. He told a story that none but the culprit could attest to. How does Forden know? Could Forden be the one behind all of this? Oh, I have no evidence to say otherwise. You, you do realize he's the sanctifex of the entire Dashed Sanctus Church? Nay, but that does not make it impossible. It wasn't long after the prince's passing that his majesty named Sanctism the state religion. If not for the matter concerning the king's magic, Forden's claim to the throne would have been unshakable. Sounds like motive enough to want the prince gone. We have to find out, even if it's remotely possible. Let's question Forden in person at the main festival tomorrow. We'll need that divine lance back, too. It's not something we want in Forden's hands, especially now. Hey, I'm going to go talk to my sister. She's bound to be somewhere in the city for the Saints' Day festivities. <sighs> um, sister, I should explain. All that fuss today was... Well... Is it safe for you to come to such a public place? What? No, it's fine. It's not like we caused a riot or anything. We even explained ourselves to Forden's satisfaction. Actually, that's not what I meant. You're the songstress, remember? Ah, yes. Suppose you're right. I know we talked before about the loophole in the King's protective magic, but I never thought you would be the one to strike Luis down. And that lance he presented. I take it that's why you went to Virga Island. We didn't mean for it to be such a spectacle. It didn't exactly go according to plan. But at least we kept a tyrant off the throne. And that's why I was wondering if I could ask you something. About Sanctifex Forden. What kind of man he really is. Because, well, now that Luis is out of the picture, we know who's got the best chance. A man as powerful as him. Well, you know how it is. You hear all kinds of nasty rumors swirling about. I'm just wondering if there's any truth to them. Tuna, are, are you seriously trying to dig up dirt on Santifex Forden? On Saint's Day of all days? Oh, loosen up a bit. You can't deny that people talk, and God knows they always have. Especially about the night of the attack. Asking how anyone could sneak into the castle, let alone get to the prince. Whether some official ordered the assassination. Remember when those rumors started? Father was on edge for days. I remember even when I hadn't said anything, he'd scold me and send me away. I don't suppose... you ever heard if there was any truth to that. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. I don't mean to dance around it so... It's just not an easy thing to ask about. I was talking with one of our allies, Hulkenberg. She said Forden mentioned something he couldn't have known, unless he was actually there, the night of the attack. Unlikely as it is, if it turns out Forden was involved, 
She won't suffer him being crowned. She'll be out for vengeance. And you're the eldest daughter of House Cygnus, a Sanctist family. The people would see you as an accomplice to a man who had a hand in killing the royals. I couldn't bear to let that happen. You don't deserve that. I need to know the truth. Then, suppose his eminence Forden were guilty of such sin. What would you do with him? With the Sanctus Church? What do you mean? Well, I was but a girl of only 12 years. I knew nothing about the inner workings of the Crown Theocracy. <sighs> Sister? What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I'm fine. If a tad overworked, all these new developments and tragic events, I'm, I'm just run a little ragged, that's all. Sister, I'll be fine. Really, I'm sorry you had to see me like that. If I am to be the people's saint, I must be strong enough to play the part. Maybe I'll hold off on the harder drinks today, just to be safe. It's been a long time since we could spend some simple time together like this. It's like we're just two sisters visiting Montario for the holiday. I'll see you again soon. rest. Luis. Good night. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now, let's get this year's Saints Day Festival of Montario underway. We will begin with a few words from His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden. Looks like Dracodios hasn't left his side. Today is a day of great celebration. A day to offer up our thanks to God. But first, an announcement. Luis is dead. The royal family's murderer has been put to justice. Now much of the kingdom's trust lies with me. Even this king-defying lance is safe in my hands. I would not see further bloodshed in endless, futile conflict. Is it not past time for reconciliation and open dialogue as a newly forged nation? He's talking as if the race is already over. What about deciding the winner? All but a formality now, isn't it? His eminence has the overwhelming majority on his side. Better to establish peace now and crown Sanctifex for them. No. He would end the tournament here and now. 
So he's just going to call the race while he's ahead? How convenient. But the throne's decided by the king, not this tournament. Forden only had to abide by that when he had Luis to compete with. If he ends this while he's this far ahead, we won't be able to reverse it. Oi! The game's not over yet, you cocky bastard! We only seek to submit to the will of the people. Though you would be wise to quit the race with all speed. Forden for the throne! Then we will finally have peace! Hail His Majesty Forden! Long live His Majesty Forden! Tell me. The people already believe him the victor. Tournament won or no, his dominance will soon be unshakable. Let's go. We reclaim the lance now. Now? Are you out of your mind? If he's going to keep it close to hand, we'll never have a chance to swap it out. We'll have to take it by force. We have no choice. If there really is no other way, So you were after this lance all along. Loyalists indeed. How many more candidates must die by your hand? Uh, his muggler is horrific, distorted. It's sickening. What did you? How dare you, you pagan wretch! You would steal this holy lance for your own vile ends. That alone is treason against the kingdom, you filthy assassins. Assassins? Then we're in good company. That night, you were the one behind the attack on His Royal Highness. You framed Luis for your crime and banished him from the palace. Do you deny it? <laughs> Precisely the sort of baseless claims I'd expect from desperate sinners. Baseless, is it? In that case, shall we produce proof of your treason? <laughs> you waste your breath. What do your words matter now? The royal family is gone. Luis is dead. Only I remain. And only I am fit for the throne. You vile traitor. You call his eminence a traitor? Preposterous. The Sanctivex is incapable of such deeds. Your Majesty Forden, punishment to the disloyal. Charge these ruffians with your divine lance! Behold! The flock has spoken! Those who defy me are to be executed. Before you die, know that I am in your debt for killing Luis and handing me the crown. <laughs> Del, what the hell's going on? I thought the prince's curse was supposed to be off. It's clearly not. The prince's assassination, the whole lot. It was all the Sanctists, it was all that bastard pulling the strings from the start. Wait, is that? You, identify yourself. <laughs> Who are you? We're at a festival. Should we not be festive? <gasps> I've come to meet you. Forden. Luis. Impossible. How could you have survived? <laughs> not that it matters. It falls to me to finish the job then. Coming here seals your fate. Hell awaits, and this time I'll make sure you stay there. Face your divine punishment, Louise! But... but why? <laughs> it appears your sins outweigh mine. What, what have you done? That lance is counterfeit, just like you. This is the true lance.
<sighs> you snake, Louis. Did he just kill Sanctifex Forden? No. Impossible. Nothing to see here. The festival is cancelled. Cancelled. No. Lord Luis is alive. What's going on? Good people. You have heard the truth with your own ears. Forden was the vile mastermind behind the prince's assassination. For casting his sins upon me, for seeking to usurp the throne, I have passed due judgment. A tainted Sanctifex is unfit to rule. What's the matter? You seem lost for words. You... You came back to life? You believe me resurrected? <laughs> Even if I could defy death, I care nothing for the prospect. Then how? How are you alive? Forden's own attendant confirmed your death. Forden's attendant? You mean that fellow? No! Zorba? Back at the Grand Cathedral. I ordered the dead to recover my body if the need arose. I had always intended for Forden to die by my hand. And the first step in his downfall was Zorba's infiltration. Impossible. The lance pierced you through your very breastplate! It did indeed. And frankly, I'm still impressed. Few could land such a decisive blow against me. But I'm afraid fate was on my side. Not yours. Mortal anatomy is my speciality. I knew at first glance that the wound was deep, but the heart was intact. Lord Luis is destined for far greater than this, so I devised a plan. I would proclaim his death and deceive both Forden and his flock. After that, it was simply a matter of magically regenerating his flesh overnight. <laughs> Only a fool would expect him to die in such a place. I could have emerged as soon as I'd healed. But where's the theater in that? Today is a day of celebration. The least I could do is offer a fitting death out of mercy. Why do you have the real lance? Wasn't it supposed to have gone to Forden? We bit slow on the uptake, eh? I just told you, I was present for the inspection. It was hardly a difficult task to swap out your counterfeit. So you knew the truth of it? No. Have you always been ahead of us, ever since the moment we thought Zorba dead? A holy lance, a convincing prop. What does it matter? Had I truly died, it would simply indicate that I was never fit for my ambitions. Power is the only true arbiter. Behold the proof. Forden lies dead, and the lance is in my hand, just as planned. You let us do as we pleased, even knowing the risks. You're insane! Indulge me a question. You stole the magic formula from me. Surely you soon learned that it was useless. That's why you then resorted to killing the caster. You were desperate to lift the spell. Is that not so? In other words, the curse's victim still draws breath. For that reason, you sought to kill me even amidst this competition, even with the difficulty of the king's magic in your way. So, his venerable highness, the Prince Savan. Where is he? Speak or die. Please, spare us. No! Stop! Leave them be! Hmm. <laughs> How quickly the Sanctus break rank and flee. Their flock left to die. This is Sanctism. <laughs> no! Stop him! Don't!
come now. Thank you. You protect them. Yet what value do they have to you? It's not that! This is just wrong! It's wrong, me lord! I see. So even you two have faltered. thing in this world is power. With it, you can take whatever you want in this life. Or so I thought. Tell. But you know, if all the weak get left behind, who's left to protect them? <laughs> I've been an idiot. Sorry about that. <coughs> Stop talking, Tell. I see it, you know. Our little diner. Music in the air. It's grand. Look after Lady Juna. Uh. Huh? Hey! Tell? Tell! Pitiful! See what brotherhood earned them. Ugh. Lord Louis. That's what it all comes down to for you, yeah? The strong are right, the weak are wrong. Doesn't matter what you were born into, there's fairness in that. We saw you as our hope. We thought that if you had a proper strong fella on top, he'd be able to put a stop to all the meaningless discrimination. We had it wrong. You're no ray of hope. It doesn't matter to you. Killing anyone, it doesn't make you feel unclean. You. You're the kind of cold-blooded bastards we ain't more than anything! Do not concern yourself with this peon, Lord Luis. With my newfound power, I shall tear them limb from limb! <laughs> this way! Guards, hurry! Step aside. You have important work to do. Hey! Seize the criminals who murdered his evidence! We didn't do it, but we should probably still run. Basilio, come with us! Shut up! What about Tell? You saw what that bastard did to him! I will not let you die in vain. Your brother didn't do this so you could get yourself killed. For now, please flee with us. Shut! Come, make haste! Well, as could be expected. We wanted something nicer for his grave, but they told us something like that's reserved for Sanctus tradition. You can expect little else in Aldebrie. I apologize for not being present. 
We've just gotten ourselves out of the public eye. If we had gone as a crew, worst case, we'd have been turned in. I wish we could have mourned him at his home. It had to happen in the lap of the Sanctus Church of all places. I hear the parapists typically prefer a more joyful send-off. With singing and celebration. It's all right. Us soldier kids could never afford to be too picky. Tell you he couldn't choose where to snuff it. The fact that you were there, Lady Juna. That's enough for us. Basilio. Best to leave him be for a while. He's just lost the only family he had. By the way, have you checked the Farsight Mirror? The curse might be. Unfortunately, it still hasn't lifted. Guess that means it was someone other than Forden after all. But Forden brazenly admitted that he had been the mastermind. Luis was innocent of that crime, at least. Someone must have cast it at Forden's command. Unless we can find and kill them in time. Ah, damn it all! We have more pressing problems at hand, don't we? Now Luis knows the prince is alive, surely that's far from ideal. The village is deep in the forest. It's not an easy place to find, even if you're looking. Going to the prince's side could be dangerous, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But even if we sought the real culprit, we no longer have any leads to follow. If I might make a suggestion, perhaps we should visit my sister again. She may have some insight on the Sanctus Church's past, but that's tomorrow's concern. As for tonight, we could all use some time to rest our hearts and minds. Oh, look at you, kid. You look near dead yourself. Tell? Tell? What? <laughs> Seems you made it out in one piece, though. Are you alive? But back there, you... Don't tell me you pulled some bloody trick. Just like Luis. Bloody hell, tell. I... I, I thought I... Basilio, sorry. From here on, you're taking the lead. But why? I can't without you, I'm... Tell, I only made it this far because I followed you. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're the strong one. Me, I never knew where I was going. Basilio, protect the weak. Swear you'll do it, not for me, but for yourself. If you can do that, I'll always be with you. Tell... Don't give me that look. Well, this one's goodbye for now. You ready? Let's hear it, Basilio. You fight, but why? Oh, oh Lord Star, ye grief-wracked brother. Oh, thou anguished traveler. Thy long stagnant stance hath finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Not really a choice. It's back to the starting line. This time I'll lead. Ah, Del entrusted me with this chance. I've got to show him I've got this. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Oh, Lord Star, whose light reveals the king's own path. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities are thy light. Awaken! Thank goodness! 
You're finally awake. You were passed out. Don't scare me like that. Not that I can blame you. After all that's happened. I... Sir Basilio, there's magla flowing through him. I think it's the same as our power. <laughs> it's you lot from before. They want to pay their respects for Fidelio. Uh, oh. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Hard tell. Funny, isn't it? Maybe this world's not so bad. Thanks.